morning guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i am on my way to the gym i'm trying to hype myself up been listening to miley cyrus flowers on repeat for about a week now it's all i listen to like it ends i started from the start again it's just it just makes me feel a type of way i just simply love it even though i'm in a happy relationship soon to be married but miley just really gets me in my feels um, but yeah, off to the gym. I'm gonna do the stepper because I've been really trying to do that more. Um, and I'm gonna do, I think, a bit of a leg workout. I was meant to go to a spin class this morning, but I missed it because um, I had to drop Jordan off at the train station. He's actually gone skiing um, for a few days. So I'm at home with my mum, my dad, and my sis. Feels like the old days. Um, so it's going to be quite a quiet weekend I think I'm going to just try and get on top of house stuff I want to go and do some more home shopping I think me and Sophie are going to do that today We're going for a coffee with my granda Just a nice wholesome few days So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me Sophie sent me a TikTok of um, a girl in Denelm And she was doing a little haul And they had loads of really nice like This sounds so boring but like cleaning supplies but it was like all neutrals so I want to go and get them but first stop on the agenda is the gym so let's put flowers back on and get hyped and ready to go complete back from the gym just made myself a protein shake i think well i filmed a little bit of my workout i don't know if it's enough but i might just put it in well you would have seen it already um i find it really awkward filming in the gym trying to get better at it why is the top doing that trying to get better at it because you know confident queen but yeah i'll try and film more next time it was quite busy bear in mind it's 11 o'clock expected it to be quiet anyway protein i'm having today is the clear vegan protein from my vegan i've spoke so many times about how much i love the my protein peach iced tea clear way this is essentially the same thing but this one is vegan and this is apple and elderflower flavor it's so nice it's literally i mean the color of it might look a bit funny but it's so refreshing like it just feels like a really refreshing drink and i love anything apple and elderflower like a gin with elderflower tonic is the best thing in the world um but this is delicious i'm waiting for sophie to get back from the gym because she's at the gym as well we go to different gyms um and then when my granddad's finished doing what he's doing this morning we're gonna go for a coffee the three of us oh let me show you what i got for colby from pets at home so I went to Pets at Home and did a little haul for him. I thought, for the new house, let's get him some new bits. I want to get a nice new basket for him. I actually need to order him a new collar and lead because his are looking a little bit scruffy and also his little poo bag dispenser thing, which used to attach to his lead, snapped off. This thing broke, so I need to order one of them. But I got him this chock doodle for Poodle Crossbreeds 2-in-1 Conditioner Shampoo. And it honestly smells like a dessert. Like it's really... Hello, darling. Do you know I was talking about all your new goodies? Oh, he likes to look out the window. Um, So we've got the Chock-A-Doodle 2-in-1 Conditioner Shampoo. This is for when you go in the river and you're all muddy. I thought this would be good because he gets such bad mats, like especially on his arms. Um, so I'm going to try and really prevent that so that when he goes to the groomers it's an easier job although our groomer is honestly incredible here like I take him and last time he was really badly matted because he um, we'd been in the lake district 
but and I expected him to have to get shaved like that time that he got shaved if any of you were here then that was a really sad time wasn't it yeah it was um so I expected him to have to get shaved and he came back so fluffy she's really really good um so if you're Durham based let me know if you're looking for a groomer and I'll send you her page um so anyway that was a really long-winded way of saying that I got him some new shampoo also got him some new intensive detangler spray that's your granddad home oh dear me i told you he was coming home um intensive detangling spray oh he's down and also i got him right i got him two new brushes i'm gonna have to stop filming now but he's gonna go crazy Why did you get me in my worst times? Sophie looks really cute today. She's got purple leggings on which match her purple claw clip. And if that's not goals, <laughs> don't know why it is, to be honest. Um, we've arrived to... Someone's flashing again. Oh no, that's yeah. back there. Someone in a van just flashed me in. I don't really know why because we were pulling out of Starbucks. Bit weird. We've been for a coffee with Granda. Sophie's still got hers. What did you get? Um... Sugar free vanilla iced latte. And I've got a matcha, but I've already drank mine. And we're now going to go in Denelm and B&M. Back where I was in the last vlog, actually, but... When did you come here? Um, Last week to get those glass mugs. Did you see them? No. I thought you didn't come. I thought you didn't have time. You're a liar. <laughs> I came I came on another day, I think you were at the gym. Mm. I just popped up, but I was only here quickly and I got the glass mugs. I'll show you them because they're really cute. I think I'm gonna get some more. Anyway, we're gonna go to Denel. I'm gonna go to BM. What are you shopping for? Valentine's for myself. Because that's baddie energy. Big baddie energy. No, I just want them heart shaped glasses. Yeah. And maybe some bedroom bits. Mm, maybe. I need a little pot. I don't want any more clutter. Right, okay, well, we're going into now. We're going into B&M, so I'll let you know if we pick up anything good. <laughs> Sophie! I just started vlogging and all I can hear is you laughing. Yeah, I know. Just stop laughing. 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 Cream in his moustache. Hi guys. Um, I think the last thing I vlogged was me and Sophie going to B and M. Really? Yeah. I'm, just I'm a bit all over. I'm a bit all over the place. The last time I vlogged was us going to B and M. That was not successful at all. Honestly, especially Denelm had the same yeah had the exact same oh, things no. in it that it's had in for years, didn't it, sis? Yeah. Honey, you know. Okay, she's gone. She's running a bath. Um, it literally had like the same stuff that I swear it's had in for years. So it was um, a bit disappointing, but it's a new day. We've been to the beach again. Every single vlog we just go to the beach apparently at this point. But today was Sophie's last day before she starts her new job as a nurse. Very proud of her. Um, so we went to the beach and went for a nice lunch. I'll insert a clip now because Colby had a little puppuccino. It was so cute. If you're from um, Durham, Newcastle, Sunderland, it was called Love Lilies on Roga Beach. It was really, really cute. We had like a halloumi, sweet chilli brunch situation. It was great. Um, and then we went for a little walk along the beach and then we've just got home. And I've got this new tracksuit on from Boo Avenue. It's, oh, you can't see what I've got back here. green and I've got it on with my little green Jordans and then I also got this little set so it's a little green thong with the matching little like comfy no wire bra isn't that such a cute set and then imagine that under here just love it it actually looks like a slug 
looks more like a sale from this angle. It is actually half sale, so if you didn't know. Um, I also got a delivery from Rose and Caramel and I've wanted to try this for ages so let me know if you've tried it but it's their tan remover. I've seen a few people use this on Instagram and it literally looks like you put it on, leave it and then like when you wipe it, it just literally removes your tan. Smells re- oh my god I've smelled that before. So what does this smell like? Come and smell this and tell me what you think it smells like. I've smelt this smell before. Oh, what is it? Isn't it something that I've smelt? We've smelt before. It's um, a bath product of some sort. Neon. The neon body scrub for them. A little bit like the neon um, bath, bath. lime scrub. That's a bit more strong. That smells like something else. I don't know but it smells delicious so I'm going to give this a go because I have got fake tan on but it's quite old and to be honest this tan that I've been using um, doesn't fade bad like it hasn't gone tiger bread or anything like that. I'll show you which one it is. It is this Tanologist One Hour Express Tan. Basically went through my beauty drawer the other day and saw this and thought I'm going to give that a go because I needed a quick one just to like do um and leave on for a few hours could be a new fave absolutely love it so i'm gonna have a full little pamper night tonight i'm gonna exfoliate i'm gonna use this i'm not gonna tan because i don't like sleeping in tan so i'm gonna tan probably tomorrow but rose and caramel also kindly sent me one of their tans which i've also heard really good things about so maybe i should try this this is the velvety ultra dark tan in form but i just get a bit scared using a new tan I don't know, I'm going to use this. Yeah. The wine and first looks just come out. Ooh. And um, they're doing like truth or dare. Mm hmm And Tom gets asked if you could have your dream girl mm. and you're out with the people here, you have to pick um body, looks and personality. Like what would it be like to make your dream girl basically? And he says, Olivia's looks. Zara's body, <gasps> which is a bit of a violation. That's really. a violation. It's like, body's the worst one because it's just like, oh, you just want the body. You just want the body. Um, and personality, Lana. <laughs> That's absolutely savage. Um, wow. Um, and Corby also got a new lead, but it's downstairs. It's from Bark London. You would have seen it on the video of me and the thing. That's cute. So we've had some good little deliveries in the past few days, but. Sorry this vlog's been a bit here, there and everywhere. Life is a little bit here, there and everywhere right now. Um, also, we had news that the house is going to be ready end of Feb. So get ready for the moving vlogs. I'm very, very excited. But for now, I'm going to tidy this room. And I'm going to have a nice little pamper night. Hi. It's the next day. I've currently got a fake tan on. I always feel very bare when I haven't got any of my jewellery on after I fake tanned. Um, but I fake tanned, got oil in my hair, got my Grow Gorgeous mask in the ends, hence why it looks like this. I'm actually having a very chill Saturday today. I'm just editing the vlog. I've got my Jim Jam PJs on. I am planning my week. Toby is exhausted. And yeah, it's a nice chilled Sunday. I'm missing Jordan a lot. I can't wait for him to get back from skiing. I'm actually going to pick him up tomorrow um, from the airport. So I'm excited. But as I was editing this video, I just thought I'd show you this because this is an Amazon purchase, which I bought this week. So as I've been filming a lot more TikToks, it's really hard because the lighting is just so bad, especially using front camera on your phone. So I seen this on TikTok and then my friend Taylor, who I know watches the vlog, so this is recommended from her. And honestly, our girls group chat is a nightmare because we all influence each other to buy stuff we don't need. And this week I've bought this, but actually it's a great purchase because this is the lighting without it. 
this is the light and width. Sorry, but when it's dark, especially on an iPhone, you can imagine the quality on front cam on an iPhone is like terrible. Look at the difference that makes. So it's got this warm setting. It's then got, wow, a cool setting. Oh no, sorry, that's warm. That was cool before. And then this is like a combination, which I mean, it's just incredible. And then it's also got this little clippy thing. So let me show you. You can clip it on your phone and I can talk to the camera. Isn't that such a good selfie light? I feel like everyone just needs it in their life, even for like doing your makeup in hotels. Like I used to have a little one from Amazon, which was good to be fair, but it was really hard to like stand it up because it was like a really like I don't know like you couldn't position it anywhere so this little clippy thing is really really handy like I could even clip it on there I've just clipped it on the camera screen wow um I'll leave this link down below I honestly spend so much money on Amazon sorry look how blue that is now I also got a new tripod which hasn't arrived yet but again something that I saw going viral on TikTok. A majority of my purchases are from Amazon because they've gone TikTok viral um, but it's like a tripod that like compacts into a really little one because often when I'm going away like to hotels for work or travelling I never take tripod because it's clumpy and the one I've got is really heavy and it's like a proper filming one whereas this one is like a really compact one so I'll show you that when it arrives it's, I think it's going to arrive tomorrow so it'll probably be in next week's vlog because I'm going to have to round this up at some point today um but yeah just having a bit of a chill having a bit of an organize having a bit of an edit just ordered some bits that I needed to order I need to find a birthday outfit I don't know how to shop for, for like dressy clothes like because I just wear like casual clothes majority of the time I need to have a little look online, but yeah, that's all I've got to update you on, because that's all I'm up to. Right now, I'm just marinating away, getting tanned, you know. Can you tell that I've just got a new selfie light? Because it's currently 8 o'clock at night. Just got out of the shower, just washed my tan off from earlier. I've had dinner, had a few glasses of Prosecco with the fam, sat downstairs. I've just came upstairs, jumped in the shower, washed my hair mask out and washed my tan off. Do you see what I mean about this just being such a lovely natural colour? Like it doesn't look like fake tan in my opinion, um, which is what I love. And obviously the face, again, is just a really natural tan. Um, so this is kind of turned into a little tan routine. Um, but ritual after I've washed my tan off is to smother my body in moisturiser. I mean, I do this after every shower anyway. Jordan literally complains that my evening routine is about three hours long and I keep just adding extra elements in there because we're here for the self-care era. But this is one of my favourite moisturisers for when I fake tanned. I also love, which I've just ran out of, let me see if I've got any more. Okay, no, I don't, but the Nivea... I've shown you quite a few times it's in a dark blue bottle extra dry Nivea one is an absolute fave this is another fave of mine which is the Garnier body intensive seven day coconut milk dry and rough skin that it, that's definitely not the name of it but I've just read every single description on the bottle um but this is what it looks like this is so nice for moisturizing your body it leaves your skin really soft and it lasts and it like really sinks into your skin um also when I'm not fake tanning or when I'm at like the end of my tan where I'm like getting ready I like scrub it off even though I don't really need to scrub it off like before I tanned today I didn't scrub my old tan off like it just faded really lovely like I said um these oils are my fave I love smothering my body in oil and getting in my pyjamas it's honestly probably the best feeling in the world so two of my faves are the vaseline cocoa radiant body oil this smells so good oh my god it smells amazing it's honestly so nice and then elizabeth arden air hour all over miracle oil is another absolute classic fave of mine been using this for years 
you all know how much I love the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream so this is another firm favourite of mine. So I'm gonna smother my body in this, put my deodorant on in case you're interested what deodorant I use. It's this one, which is Mitchum's Powder Fresh Ultimate Gel No White Marks. Again, an all-time favourite of mine because it just smells so fresh. I just love smelling really fresh. Also, how cute is this little hair towel? Really cute. Once I've moisturised, I'm going to put some fresh pyjamas on and then I'm going to blow dry my hair. I like to do like a full curly blow dry when I wash my hair and then it lasts me until the next hair wash, which... I feel like it's because I finally mastered how to use the Dyson on my hair. It's took me a while, like, since I've got it. Only the past few weeks of using it, I feel like I don't have to use it that often. So last week, I did it... Well, this week, actually, I did it on Monday. It's now Saturday and I've washed my hair. So, and I haven't put more heat on my hair since Monday. And I've had it down and it's just kept that, like, brushed out blow dry. Obviously, it's got loose from loose every day, but... um really happy with it so i'll show you what i do with that and be right back when i'm moisturized and got my pjs on i forgot a key component of my post shower body care routine i can't I, honestly this is the best smell in the world i'm nearly out i need to order a new one. Oh my god I spray this on myself after every single shower once I've moisturised because I feel like it like sinks into the moisturiser and stays on my skin. Like this is an essential after your shower. It smells like a holiday. Like you probably would have seen everyone talking about it because again, it's one of those things that went viral on TikTok but really hope it's not out of stock since going viral on TikTok. I actually got my friend for her birthday a little set of this the body wash and the moisturiser because she used mine when she came to stay and she was like what is that and I was like you need it so I got it for her birthday it's incredible I needed to jump in quickly and tell you that so I'm gonna wait to do my nighttime skincare until after after my hair so let me get you set up and we'll blow dry this selfie light has really changed my life I feel like I'm gonna be vlogging more because now I don't have the excuse that the lighting is rubbish Okay, I look crazy. So, brush through my hair with this brush, which is, it's called, it's rubbed off, but it was called the wet brush. Um, so I think it's like better for your hair, for brushing your hair when your hair's wet, obviously, because your hair is a lot more prone to breakage and a lot more sensitive when it's wet. I'm just gonna do this button up because I'm scared a boob pops out um so i'm going to use some heat protectant this one i've actually ran out of it's just a mark hill one it's at the end so oh we've still got a little bit in there i feel like i'm at that stage where i've run out of load of like loads of my products so i need to just rebuy loads of stuff i'm going to do a big look fantastic order um as you can see i literally smother my hair in heat protectant because I just feel like it's one of the most important things with looking after your hair when you're using heat on it is heat protectant. So I literally smother my hair in that. And then I'm going to use my Grow Gorgeous Intense Growth Serum. I use this every time after I wash my hair. This bottle is literally on, wow, on its last few uses as well. But thankfully... I've got a full bottle over on my little thing over there. So I just take this into my scalp and around the front bit where I'm prone to like sparseness or sparseness. I don't even think that's a word, Dion. I think you've just made that up. Um, prone to like more breakage. So I just apply that in my scalp and give it a good massage in okay it's then time to go in with the dyson let me plug her in so first of all i just use the normal hair drying section and i just blast my hair until it's like 80 percent dry so i'll do that now
Excuse me. Me. I'm trying to dry my hair, thank you very much. Don't talk back to me, please. Right, so hair is, as you can see, pretty dry but also still kind of wet at the same time. So at this point, I will put my parting in. Middle parting is in. So I'll do this side first since that is the side closest to you guys because my mirror is here so I'll just take one side and clip it up so that it's away and then with the side that I'm gonna do I kind of split that into two so I take the top section and section that off and just clip that over there so I do in two and then two again so in four sections in total and so the way that I found is best for me is to use the thinner barrels rather than the thick ones. So this is obviously the thick one, this is the thin one. I use the thin ones just because the curls last so much longer. The difference is crazy. If I use the thick ones, my hair will be straight within a few hours. These, they just keep a really nice curl. Obviously it's really curly to start with, but I like it by like day four when it drops. So I use the arrows facing away. Sometimes I do do towards my face, so I want that like flicky. Sorry, I'm not boring you. Yeah? Look at him looking. Oh, he's the cutest boy in the world. Um, so yeah, sometimes I do do towards my face if I want like the flicky blow dry look. Um, but I'm gonna go away from my face today. So I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory if you've got a. Dyson, you'll know, so I'll show you a few pieces um, and then we'll work our way around. So I like to take quite a small piece. Again, I feel like this works best for the curls lasting a long time and just getting like the desired curl that I like. So turn it on. I've got it on the full heat and full power, I think that is. Um, so turn it on, hold the hair until it wraps around and then bring it into my head and then I literally just keep it there and then once I've kept it there for a while I switch it to cold hope you can hear me and I let it sit on cold for a few seconds I kind of just like feel it to check that it's not still hot and then switch it off and pull it down and it looks a bit crazy but it's worth it so let me do another one and there we go pretty easy so let me do all of this bottom layer and then I'll show you how I do my front bits look crazy but as you would have just seen I did the exact same to the top layer as that I did to the bottom layer just worked my way along and then for the front bit I literally do the same but let me just give it a brush 
So I literally do the exact same. Let me just move that. But. <laughs> hold it more above my head rather than that way I hold it more like that so it's almost like how a roller would go just to give a bit more volume if that makes sense and again set it to cool is it that is how I do my blow dry and it looks crazy I will go off camera and quickly do this side and then I'll film me brushing them out what I tend to do is just pop a little bit of hairspray on um, and then brush it out but be right back when this side's done wow I just walked into my sister's room and she said I look petrifying so love that for me but that is all the hair curled I don't know if you can tell, well, you probably can't because I don't think I've shown when I've done it with the big barrel, but even the way that the curls are with the small barrel, it's so much better. I highly recommend if you've got a Dyson and you're struggling for it to hold, try the small barrel. Even if you look crazy to start with, trust the process. So I then go in with a wide tooth comb and the satisfying part, I just literally gently brush out the curls. Like that. This side is always the most satisfying because it's the last side. So like the curls are fresh. And that is how I do my blow dry. And look how shiny my hair is. That is why I love the Grow Gorgeous mask. That is why I love the serum and that is why I love putting oil on my scalp it's just it just leaves your hair so shiny I can't recommend it enough and that's me done now I won't have to put heat on my hair until I next wash it and it's Saturday now and I'll have fresh hair for work through the week and then later on in the week I'll sleek bun and then the whole cycle repeats itself um but yeah that's my little Dyson tutorial my battery is now flashing and it's quarter to nine on a Saturday night so I've got to go and make my cup of tea and get in bed ready for Love Island. Obviously it's just unseen bits but I actually like the unseen bits because I find it funny to actually see like what they get up to in the villa rather than just like should we go for a chat, should we go for a chat, do you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm going to end this vlog here because I want to get it edited and up for you all tomorrow morning. I really hope you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye!